Hi folks, it's about quarter past 11. It's the 20th of February 2014. A lot of people talking to me about cycles at the moment, particularly because of what I'm saying about how now and over the coming six months is direct correlations with late 1999 and the Grand Cross and total eclipse of that time. So I just thought I'd do a little bit on cycles, bearing in mind that depending where you live in the world, your lifespan is to an extent dictated by nutrition, environment and health care. For example, in some places in Northern Europe, life expectancy is now in the late 70s, early 80s as an average. Whereas in Northern Africa, it's still in its late 60s and in other places still in its late 50s. Nevertheless, over the course of one's life, one does recognise certain cycles, patterns, rhythms, if you choose to look for them. And what astrology does is it does give clear and pretty precise data on what these rhythms consist of. How they actually flow is very much like a biorhythmic chart. But here's some of them. You're going to get most people won't even get a Pluto opposition in their life. It's just starting. I'm just seeing people beginning to start getting their Pluto opposition. But they, these people are truly old, i.e. in their late 80s and older. But it does seem that because Pluto's at the closest point to, its, to the sun of its long-term orbit, that during this time... Um, people are going to get a Pluto opposition for the only time in its cycle. The Pluto square, as Pluto has speeded up over recent years and is now slowing down again, so the time of a Pluto square has got progressively younger. Well, uh, of my generation, born in the mid-50s, the Pluto square is around 43, something, uh, uh, um, uh, something like that. Whereas these days, people are getting their Pluto square a lot earlier, at 38. 39 years old, but nevertheless, this is the time around 38 to 42 when Pluto sort of squares itself and the transformational experience begins to turn from directly experiential into more reflective and specific. Similarly, at age 42, you get the Neptune square. Over the last hundred years or so, as Pluto's been a lot closer to the sun, so its relative speed has been faster and it's kept pace with Neptune approximately. Another hundred years, it'll be really slowing down again, but we won't see that. So you've got both the Pluto square and the Neptune square around 38 to 42, depending on which subgeneration you're born in. It does seem that 38 to 42 is the full emergence or recognizance, if you like, of a more unconscious, subconscious, transpersonal, that both, Uranus, both Pluto and Neptune represent. And of course, at 42, you also get the um, Uranus opposition. Uranus takes 84 years to go around the horror, to go around the zodiac, whereas Neptune takes twice that, 168, which is because the octave between Uranus and Neptune is absolutely precise. The pattern is precise, exactly, or within half of 1%, 50-50 of the ratios. Um, so every time that Neptune squares itself, Uranus would oppose itself. This again points to 42 and 84 as pivotal times for Uranus conjunctions and oppositions. Uranus goes round in every 84 years. There's also 21 years with Uranus, which is the Uranus square, squaring itself. Uranus takes seven years in each sign. Then we come to Saturn. The origin of the seven-year itch in the seven years that Uranus takes to go through one sign, Saturn goes through three signs in some seven and a quarter, seven and a half years. Uranus takes 29, 29, uh, 
Saturn takes 29, 29 and a half years to go around the sun. So seven and a quarter years for seven year rich, but also 29 year cycles. Then there's Jupiter, which returns to its natural position every 12 years, almost precisely, 11 years, 350 something days. For most people, as they move into their 40s and 50s, they certainly start recognizing the seven year cycle, the seven year itch. Also, as they get older, the 12 year cycle with Jupiter and the 21 year cycle with Uranus. And in time, in their late 50s onwards, they start to recognize the 29 year cycle twice with the Saturn return, as well as the 42 year cycles of Uranus, Neptune and Pluto. Finally on this, there's one other cycle that is not rhythmic. It is not a cycle, it is a pattern, there's a difference. This is a one-off pattern. Nevertheless, I'm seeing this as a 15 year pattern that we are in now that started in August 1999 or was actually started way before then but was triggered then on August the 11th, 1999 and concludes on August the 10th, 2014. For reasons I've explained before, but I'll go into in a lot more depth in the coming few days. All right, cycle's over. Back to work. Catch you later.